If you're looking for a form builder that does it all, take a look at Fillout. It has fully customizable layouts, easy drag and drop design, and it integrates very well with tools like Airtable, SmartSuite, Notion, Google Sheets, HubSpot, and so many more. You can generate PDFs, automate workflows, schedule appointments, replacing tools like Calendly, and you can even update records that already exist in your Airtable, SmartSuite, or other databases. Check it out. Welcome back to the channel. For those of you that don't know me, my name is Zach Stevenson. I'm a business process and no code consultant. If you need help streamlining or automating any of your business processes, you can visit our, our website, interdevsolutions.com, or you can click the link in the description below to book a free consult. In this tutorial, I'm going to keep things really simple, but I will highlight some of the more advanced features and where to find them. You can go to fillout.com or there's a link in the description below to get started. Uh, down the left side, you have different workspaces that you can create. And up here, we have the forms. This is the original feature of Fillout, be able to create highly customizable forms, but they've also added this scheduling tool. This is going to work very similar to something like Calendly or other calendar and meeting and appointment booking tools. And then we have workflows. This is one of their latest features and functionalities and workflows allows you to build in automation directly into your form. So this is a newer feature It is going to be continuing to evolve, but it does some pretty cool things already. Let's jump right into it here. I'm going to click this and make a fill out and we're just going to create a form. And then you have a few options. You can start with a template you can use a blank form and you can connect right off the hop to one of your databases, which is what I'm going to do. So I'm going to click this connect here. You have some options right away where you can select one of these and then integrate with a database that you already have created. I'm going to do it with smart suite. So I have to click this, a link here. I'll click that. It's going to bring up my list of themes and you can scroll to the bottom and make your own or select one off the shelf. So I'm just going to select this dark form. We'll go and create form and label this fill out base. And the very first thing that you'll probably do within your form after you have it styled, you can go in and start selecting the different field types. So depending on the type of form that you need your end user to submit, whether it's a simple contact us form or you want to get more advanced, you have a lot of different field types down the left side here. Now off the top where I showed you, you could integrate directly with Airtable, Notion, HubSpot, and Google Sheets. Once that integration has been connected and let's say Airtable, for example, it will pick up the fields that exist within the table that you integrated with, and you can add them directly here. And then you don't have to worry about mapping the specific field that you drop in back to Airtable or to whatever other database you're using. It will just have that mapped connection for you. Uh, we can do the same thing with these other database tools like smart suite. And I'll show you how to do that here in a moment. So I'll select this integrate tab. And then I have a lot of different integrations available. So you can see them all as I scroll through, uh, depending on the plan that you are on, uh, some of them may or may not be available. And then of course, using tools like Zapier make or relay.app. If there is not a direct integration with your database or wherever you want to get the data to, you could use one of these tools that way, once a form submitted, it will send the information to these tools, and then you can get the data into whatever software or tool that you are using. They also have webhooks. So that's another way of getting information to a source that Fillout doesn't integrate with natively. All that being said, we will integrate with smart suite. I'll select smart suite here. It's already selected the account that I want to use. I can hit next I can go in and select my solution. I just have an example one set up here called fill out basics. Again, I'm going to keep all of this really simple for today. Then you have to select your app or table. In this case, I only have one just labeled table one. I can hit continue. We have a couple of options. As I mentioned in the intro, you can also update records that already exist within your database or your solution. I want to create a new record though, so I can go in and finish. One other thing I did want to highlight is you can generate the PDFs. If I click generate PDF, drop a doc file or a PDF into this, 
And then from here, you'll be able to map your fields accordingly. I'm just going to click this sample PDF and it will pair it for me. So they have a sample job application set up. And then based off of all your fields within the form, you can map the data to this accordingly by using this connected field. Right now, I don't have any fields in my form, so there's nothing to map, but it's really simple to get started with generating a PDF. Within this integrate tab, there's the workflows, and this is the built-in automation. So they have some templates that you can use, or you can build your own blank workflow. I have some videos in the past couple of weeks that do briefly touch on using workflows within a fill out form. If you are curious about this feature, you can go back and take a look at one of those videos. I'll go back into the edit and now based off of the solution and table that I uploaded, you'll see on the left within fill out, there's some of these form fields. So we've got name, status, and date, and email. Within fill out, you can see it's brought in some of these options, status, date, name, and email. So that's looking at smart suite fields. If I go over to other, these are ones that aren't automatically connected. So the other option, if I click short answer here and I wanted to connect to the name, I'd come over to the side panel on the right, click the drop down, and then you can select the field that you want it to connect to. But because fill out's smart enough to figure out what fields I want to add and it maps it automatically for me, there's no point in doing. It. So I can go in here, select name. We can do status if we want the person to select the status. I'm just going to keep that off. I'm going to add in date and I'm going to add an email. I'm going to keep it really simple. Uh, there's a few display elements here. You can bring in images and uh, just different types of information and select the submit button. We have some styling options. We can change the color to the size and style of the button where it's located. We have logic. This right side panel allows you to configure a lot of the settings of all these different fields and buttons within the page. For example, if I click on email, we can add a caption and you can see it will show the caption just below the field name. You can add in placeholders or you can just add in an example email address and you'll see a placeholder. You can bring in default values as well. There's a lot of different configurations that you can do here. You can turn on required or half width. And then there's conditional logic as well. You can add additional pages to your form. If we want to click the contact us information start, and then we can add an additional page. We can add more form pages if we want to break this into chunks so that they're not entering a whole huge list of information just on one page. You have that type of flexibility. You can add in cover page, ending page. I'll get to that in a moment. The cover page is just to welcome your users give them some instructions, something along those lines. At the end, we can have a review page. This allows the user to review the answers that they've previously submitted. You can collect payments with Stripe and more premium feature. You can allow users to log in to your form. So they have to have an email that exists within a database somewhere. And then the scheduling. This is the feature that kind of replaces count. Within the add pages, let's say we wanted to collect payment. We could do that and go in here. We have a few different payment options, one time subscription and pay what you want. Let's just do a one time payment. Sure. $10 is fine. And we will add the payment page. I have to connect here. I already have a Stripe account. I'm not going to worry about this too much. We have some options down the left side here. We have appearances so we can bring in disclaimer, testimonial. There's just a few different settings down the left side collecting the payment. What I wanted to show is I'm just going to rename this payment from the page. If they enter the information, click next, it will go to the payment page. But maybe here we'll have some sort of option. So I'll go over to the other and we do make payment ahead of this isn't the greatest example, but I'm just trying to show the conditional logic that's available from here where the make payment ahead of time, if it's toggled off and they click next, we just want it to go to the end of the form and submit the information. But if they toggle it on, we will display the payment option to them. If we go back into the logic tab, we can hit the X icon here, drag this down, 
We'll take that across to the ending and we'll drag this over to payment. We can set a condition if within the make a payment ahead of time it's set, basically meaning it's yes, then we want to go to the payment page. And then from there, we can go to ending. Otherwise, we'll just go straight from the form or homepage or contact us page over to ending. And there's the preview tab at the top. This allows you to test the form, enter in some information. None of these are required. So I'll just leave out email and it shows submit. So if I hit submit, it'll go directly to the ending. If I hit this toggle, you can see it flips to next and I can go to the payment page, exit this preview, go into the ending and you can see you have some customization available. You can make this basically say whatever you want. You can change up what's displayed. There's just a little confetti option that happens when you submit the form. You can toggle that on or off. Then down the left, you have some other options. You can add in a paragraph that you can bring in more information once they've submitted a URL button. You can download the PDF. If you generated a PDF in a previous step that I showed you within the integrate tab, there's just a lot of different options. You can even go directly to a new form once they've submitted, or you can redirect to another website or something else entirely. And then the last thing, once your form's been configured, you've tested it in this preview option you have a publish button. If we hit publish, it'll pop up and it will show here's the form link. You could share that form link with a user and they'll be able to send data to you through that form. And then there's a few different options here. These embed forms, you can send form by email and you also have these options within the share tab here. You can copy the link to share with people and you can embed your form on your website or somewhere else using these pre-built and then as mentioned, when the form gets submitted, if it's connected to a database, the data will go directly here, for example, but it will also populate within your results tab. And the last thing we have settings, you can send an email to yourself anytime a form is submitted, and you can also send an email to the respondent. And there's a number of other settings down the left here that are slightly more advanced. That's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Fill out is a fantastic tool. There's so many great things that you can do and accomplish with it. I'm sure I'm going to have many more tutorials in the future. So make sure you hit that subscribe button.